There was once a girl who had tiger slippers and a ceiling with stars on it and a butterfly hair slide which she kept losing and two goldfish and a nice mother who helped her to make some paper dolls. They were Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the bow. Julia Donaldson, the author of over 150 popular children's books including The Gruffalo, was in Blockswich yesterday, much to the delight of hundreds of local school children. Funnily enough, the idea for this just came, I just saw a picture of some paper dolls on the front of one of my husband's medical magazines. He's a doctor. And that, you know, just the idea started simmering away. So anything could, could you know, set a book in motion. Her visit is part of a national tour of libraries, and Blockswich was one of 24 to be selected. Oh, I think it's so important because, you know, there's precious few bookshops left in our high streets now. Um, and especially in a recession, I think libraries are wonderful community centres. So much goes on in libraries. And it's really where children discover what books they like. If you don't have children exposed to a wide choice of titles, find out which book an individual child likes, we're not going to have a future generation of readers. Is it metal? And I didn't even need to go in for the Olympics to get this medal. <laughs> I got it because I'm the children's laureate for two years. And my job is to get all the children of Great Britain really keen and enthusiastic about reading. The children's laureate who first began a career as a songwriter for children's television was joined by 150 primary children from St Peter's Catholic, Blockswich C of E, Elmore Green and Leemore Primary to perform some of her stories before she signed books. Well, it's not just them sing me. See, they act for me. That's the best bit of it. Like these children that are trooping and they're all going to be up on the stage we start off every show with them acting something for me, and that's the, been the best bit about this tour, actually. Will there ever be a day that you think, that's um, it now? Well, it just depends, you know, if I go on getting the ideas, but the thing is I do a lot of performing, so as long as I'm fit and able, I'll carry on doing that. Even if I wrote, never wrote another word, I've still got these, all these stories that I can act out with children, so I'll, I'll carry on doing that.